All right, welcome back to another episode of Everybody Eats. All right, this is your host, Bensky Belazare. This is Ido. All right, and we have with us a very special guest, Mr. Corey Ormsby, Mr. AKA Mr. Ya Designs himself. What, what, what's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? All right, so we have a great topic today. We're gonna to talk about procrastination, but before that, we'll have Corey introduce himself. He does a million and a half things, so he'll talk about himself, and then we'll jump right into the topic for today. All right? All right. Uh, as Bensky introduced, my name is Corey Ormsby. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, like, I don't know where to start, fam. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Jamaica. Well, I go on, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I live in Jamaica. I'm currently in the States right now. Uh, currently, I have a clothing line, just like Mr. Belazare. Uh, you must have heard, maybe have heard him mention me in his first podcast. Uh, it's called Yard Designs. It's going very well. Big things coming for that. Uh, I do so many things. I manage a couple of artists. I'm deep into music. Uh, my latest uh, adventure, or venture, you should call it, is opening my own studio. So... I'm working on that as we speak. So just a little brief synopsis of my life or what I do. All right, all right. So you see you got his hands in a lot of different things. So I think that really ties into the topic of what we'll speak today. First, we'll speak about procrastination and then we'll go into how do you handle a lot of things when they're all on your plate, right? If you wanna, you know, if you have a lot of ideas, how do you manage them all? So first, procrastination i think that's something that a lot of people i know me personally i struggle with mm -hmm. i consider myself a procrastinator whether it was in school like i was the type of person if i had a but test, everybody procrastinates in school though right everybody <laughs> does i mean yeah that's a given that's part of school <laughs> i mean it really is i think i mean i guess there's some levels to it like me personally like i I know if I have a test on Thursday, I'm not studying until Thursday, 12 a.m., right? <laughs> <laughs> That's the type of person I am, right? But I come from a family where my dad and my brother, they're big planners. Like, they're the total opposite. My dad hates procrastinating. Yeah, that sounds that sounds kind of like my girlfriend right there. She plans everything right to the T when I'm just right there and then I'll just think of it and do it. Exactly. <laughs> like, for I think, for me personally, I think it's because I work best under pressure it's not necessarily a great thing like obviously i can't advise other people to do it but for me personally i know and i mean what works for you works for you not what not everything that works for you works for everybody else that's facts you know yeah, what i mean yeah. everybody's different in their own way and i think that when it comes on to like procrastination one of the main things that you have to have is self-understanding. You have to understand yourself, understand how you work as a person. Yeah. Right? And then it all comes down to self-discipline. Like, if you don't have a boss, because this is your business right now. Say you're going to start your business. You don't have a boss in your back every single day, making sure you do this, making sure you do that. You know what I mean? Making sure you come to work on time. You don't have a boss at this moment you're the boss as an entrepreneur so mm -hmm. you have to have that self-discipline and i think that plays a big role in and now i mean procrastination mm. so that works for me like i try to discipline myself like i say okay i'm getting up this morning and i have 15 emails to respond to i'm going to respond to all 15 before i even brush my teeth like that's the type of drive and that's the type of self-discipline that you have to have and you can start with small stuff you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to start with just your business. You started with regular routines. Like, okay, I'm not going to take my phone up the moment I open my eyes. Like, when I wake up, that's the first thing most people do. Yeah. I'm guilty of it sometimes. But you can start with little stuff like that. Like, resist yeah. the urge to take your phone out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? No, that's something I've been trying to... Yeah. My brother, he's been trying to get me to make sure... Um, that's not a like that's not my habit like yes. first thing i wake up is do that yeah but. you can start with small stuff like that yeah and it and it grows and grows and grows into bigger stuff uh, as your business as it relates to your business or your entrepreneurial adventure you know yeah. what i mean and like I mean, yeah, like you said it doesn't it could just be life too like people people procrastinate or people can like prevent themselves from procrastinating by kind of like having either set schedules or like um i was talking to my boy last week one thing he said 
that helps him is trying to give himself a mental deadline, right? So not mm-hmm. necessarily, it doesn't always relate to business, right? But he said, if he has something to do that doesn't necessarily have a set school deadline, so to speak, yeah. like a structured deadline, give himself a mental deadline where it's like, all right, if I don't do this by this weekend, I failed. Or like, if I don't do it by this weekend, like, that's I'm kind of glad you mentioned that because right there, he's giving himself a mental, what, what I like to call a accountability. Yeah. So once you give an account, like I say, okay, Bensky, I'm going to start this clothing line, for example, and I'm going to be successful. And I tell 10 people that. Those 10 people, I will have to now give an account to those 10 people, like, if they don't see me doing this, yeah. like, how come you're not doing it? Yeah, yeah. And that also will help with procrastination because those 10 people that care about you, yeah. care about your business, care about, like, what's going on? Yeah. How you're not doing it? How you told me you're going to do this? So one way you could do, like, prevent procrastination is give accountability for the things you set out to do. And that's facts. Like, I know Edom, I, when... I kind of... Oh, you can go, go. Go ahead, Edom. Go on, go on, go on. Uh, nah, I just had a question, like, something I've been thinking about like how do you differentiate between procrastinating and kind of like our topic last week was being afraid to start or maybe not knowing where to start so like I think those two kind of go hand in hand in its own way at least that's my my thought process I think procrastination is more of giving yourself an excuse to not do what you're supposed to do in any but instance it's is not knowing where to start also an excuse no most no, times I think that's more of that's just not knowing i think like you said i think procrastinating is like you know what to do you know what you have to do but you're choosing not to do it exactly, right like exactly, when it comes to exactly. school and studying it's like you know you have that test next week but you're choosing yeah. not to study and to go play Fortnite instead right? exactly or like for me, even starting this podcast, like, I admit I procrastinated starting this. I had this idea, like, a month ago, right? <laughs> yeah, but I, I was, like, I kept telling myself, like, nah, maybe later, maybe later. And, like, I, you know, I did start it, so I did work on it, but I was giving and myself... Don't you feel season. good that you started? I did. No, even eat them today, right? When we, uh, I went to go to the gym, I came home, I took the best nap of my life. Honestly, I woke up, <laughs> no, for real. I woke up thinking like I had work. Like I thought it was the morning time. Wow. Right? And I was telling Edom, I'm like, yo, I was just giving myself excuses not to go until I took a nap. And then after just talking to Edom, I was like, all right, let me just go to the gym. Okay, right? body, the so body like, needs rest. Yeah, so right? Yeah, thank, yeah, thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. <laughs> but, yeah, so there's a distinct difference, Edom, uh, not knowing where to start and procrastination. I, I feel most of us already know what to do to do what we want to do. Yeah. Like you want to be the next LeBron James, you got to be and do better than LeBron James. You got to go to train. You got to you got to put them them hours in. We know what to do to get there. We just procrastinate. We just waste time. And one of the things I can say you you could start that is give it accountability. Go ahead, Eden. Do you guys ever think like procrastination isn't a part of the process. All right, what do you think? What do you of think? Of course, it has to be. Like, I personally think, yeah, procrastination is a part of the process because I'm a believer of, you know, things happen for a reason and procrastination has to be a part of that process. You know, like, let's say you procrastinate and you study for that Thursday test, Thursday, 12 a.m., and you end up getting there. Would you say procrastination was part of the reason why it happened or... No, because 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 if you had not procrastinate, then you would have gotten an A plus. That's how I was gonna say to play devil's advocate, right? So sure. me personally, I'm the person who studied last minute, but I know if I studied probably throughout the week or when I knew I had the test, I would have probably done better. Even though I procrastinated and did well, I probably could have done better if I studied earlier. And that leaves the the, the question like. What if, like, if you can achieve so much and you procrastinated, what if you did not? Yeah. Like, how far could you go with not just your business, but life in general? Like, not procrastinate. Yo, I need to lose 10 pounds. I need to lose 20 pounds. You know what I mean? I, or I need to gain weight. I need to start going to the gym. Like, you you procrastinate. Like, you, you say, okay, I'm going three times per week or four times per week. And you end up going once or twice because you procrastinated the other couple of days, Right. 
Like, and then you say, wow, I only go tw twice a week and this is the result that I got. Imagine if I was actually going yeah. four or five times a week. Yeah. Like, where would I be? So even with procrastination, you can achieve so much more by not procrastinating. Yeah. And it all boils down once again to self-discipline and giving accountability for the things you have to do. But one thing to kind of touch about what Edom said of like, for me, it's like a... a like either procrastinating before you start something and it kind of still turns out good right because i'll see sometimes with the clothing line right where mm -hmm. maybe i want to drop a line or a collection say i give myself october 1st i want to drop it right yeah so maybe i start i should start creating the designs or start the process september 1st mm -hmm. i give myself at least a month right yeah so, but I've seen times where maybe I delay me actually in Photoshop, me actually creating the designs mm -hmm. and me procrastinating. But while I'm quote unquote procrastinating, I'm still like keeping my eye out for things that are good. You gotcha. know what I mean? Because I think this happened with the last, this last line. I've been telling myself for a while, I need to get into Photoshop. I need to start working. But to be honest, I was kind of in a drought slash like I was just low key being lazy. Mm -hmm. But it kind of ended up like as the deadline started approaching, like Edom and I kind of made this deadline where we want these clothes out by like such and such date. Then it was like all of a sudden, like a week before, boom, 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 ideas started like popping out. Right. Yeah. So I guess you could argue that something to what Edom was saying, like maybe waiting a little bit procrastinating did help. But listen, listen, if you I, if you had done those designs a month before. And that I think those ideas was, would have still came to you. Like what what inspired you maybe would have still happened to do those designs. You get what I'm saying? We know though. And yeah, we don't live in we the parallel universe. Know. No, we don't know. What? I said it's a bunch of what ifs at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah true, it, it is. Yeah, we, we we probably would would never know. But yeah. this is one thing that I always do. Like if I'm gonna drop a line. I haven't dropped anything in a while because I'm working on something big. Okay. But uh, if I'm going to drop something new, something fresh, and I know I haven't even came up with the design yet, but I know it's going to be banger, and I know I have to, say I want to drop a new design two weeks from now. I tell everybody, I post it on my page. Yeah. I post it on social media. I even run ads, new designs coming next week. Yeah. And I haven't even thought of the designs. Right there, I know I give accountability. You're forcing yourself exactly. to create some designs because exactly. it's not going to look like a bozo. Exactly. <laughs> so all those customers yeah. are on the lookout for yeah. those designs that you're telling them are going to be out in the next two true, weeks. True, true. So giving an accountability like to people around you and everyone helps you to like motivate you yeah. to go out there and not procrastinate. So true, that true, helps true. me a lot with my procrastination. Giving an accountability and I have a high level of self-discipline. Got you, got you. So yeah, that works for me. So I think this kind of transitions to our next topic of, or I guess like the next conversation of, all right, so you mentioned that you, you're trying to do a studio. You have, mm -hmm. um, you know, you got your clothing line. But honestly, not just for entrepreneurs. This could be for students, anybody, right? If you're, you know, I just got, uh, I just graduated. I know how it feels like to be taking, you know, five high-level classes while being in student organizations, right? Being either president of a club, being in, you know, this All club or that club, right? So. You know, the idea of, I know some people struggle, like, how do you balance all that, right? So it could be school related. It could be, you know, entrepreneurial business related. So like, I guess we'll start with Eden. Like, what do you, how do you view that? What do you do? Or like, what advice do you have for people who are like, you know, still trying to balance all that? You know, because I know that ties into stress. You know, people like people be stressing out, especially in college. You have like, I got three tests next week. Uh, <laughs> I got, you know, an event to plan. Crazy, like, crazy. We've been in that position. You and I have been in that position where we've had to plan events, you know, while Being having president, tests, of right? Nava. president, vice president, right? We're in student government. We have all our events. We have Caribbean club events while we still have tests and doing all that while we have things going on at home. Right. So, like, what do you do in that situation? Like, just speak on that. So. My first piece of advice is just don't be afraid to take a deep breath and like step back and just take in all the responsibilities you know you have to do and just sort them out like, all right, hey, this comes first, so first and foremost. Exactly, prioritizing. Yeah. Prioritize and process everything. And honestly, like it sucks, but you're depending on who you are and how everything works out, you may or may not be able to do everything. And that's okay. You're not perfect. You're not, you know. We're not these perfect beings. Not everything 
works out the way it's meant to be, of course, forever. That's true, I, that's true. Mm-hmm. And I think the biggest thing with um, that, uh, and it even ties into procrastination and just dropping some responsibilities to keep things off your plate, is that we're afraid of our reputations being hurt, you know? It's like, it's kind of like a blow to the ego or something, saying like, hey, I, don't, I can't handle all this. What does that say about me? How are others going to view me? You know, I signed up to be a member of this organization. I'm a officer of X, Y, and Z club. And here I am saying, hey, guys, I can't handle all this responsibility. I'm either going to leave or step back, you know, mm-hmm. or um, take a step back for personal reasons or whatever. And it just even thinking that or I guess having the courage to say that, that that's a lot. That's one. But just the fact of that, like society and everything, um, I guess society in the way we've grown up just it's kind of like it's kind of like a taboo you know in a sense like a cultural taboo yeah yeah kinda, i get uh, what you're saying perceptive uh, like you know that we've all perceived it's kind of like a, a something that we've grown up with like uh, unconsciously knowing that like hey it's not it's not acceptable to say you know i'm vulnerable or you know i i can't um, yeah people have that like you said it's like that task. ego yeah. It's that ego. Yeah, your ego gets hurt at the end of the day. It's like, yeah, you know, I'm not this great Superman, uh, superhuman I thought I was. I can't handle all this. Ow, that's a blow to the ego, you know? So. And, and it's crazy because it's like, um, when you do go through those issues, like, I guess some of those people who would think that way aren't going to be the ones to help you when you're going through a lot or when you are stressing. You know that what I mean? That is true. That is so it's like, not, yeah, they're going to tell you, they're going to force you to like, not force you, but they're going to give you kind of like that expectation to do all of it. Yeah. And then like when you're struggling to do all of it, they're not really going to be the ones to be like, oh yeah, you know, it's well, fine. I'll walk you through yeah, it. You know, yeah. They're going to be the ones at the end and say, yeah, you know, this is what you're supposed to do. So yeah. You did it for the bad, you can do it again. And that's, that's like, that's kind of like society or like at least, Kind of like that's like a a, a a foreign parent thing. I feel like in my opinion, you know, I come, I tell my mom, you know, hey mom, you know, X, Y, and Z happened, and she's like, all right, this is what you're supposed to do, and I'm like, yo, you don't know how much work or how much stuff I had to put aside, and 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 how much stress went into all this, how much, how many things I they don't understand the root of it. They don't know Never. where it's coming from. And Eden, Never. like just to like touch back on the point that you made about prioritizing and about handling a lot of stuff when you have a lot of stuff on your plate, like one way that I always like, you know, deal with a lot of stuff that are on my plate is break it down into steps. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you want to start a business. It sounds like a lot, but you just got to break it down in steps. Step one, say for example... I want to, like I said, I like to use LeBron James. He's a good basketball player, and a lot of people look up to him. The greatest, or or, or Tom Brady, if you if you if you if you're in the NFL, the goat, right? So, <laughs> it, say I want to be the next Tom Brady, or I want to be better than Tom Brady, right? I got to break it down into steps. It sounds like a lot to get there, but if you do it step by step, I'm sure you can, you will get there. You wanna you wanna start a clothing line? Do it step by step. Step one, where do I get the clothes? Figure that out. Step two. Step three, step four, market. Step five, step six, sell it to people. Step seven, you know what I mean? Like you do it, break it down in steps. Achieve each step one at a time. Sometimes you're going to knock two steps out with one go. That's good. Yeah, that's true. But you break it down in steps. And then once you start doing that, like with life in general, step by step by step, you'll find that things become a lot easier to deal with when you have a lot of things on your plate. You know what I mean? So that's what I do. Another thing that I do to handle a lot of things on my plate, though, is having a good support system. Yeah, we spoke about that a little bit last uh, last episode. Like yeah. The importance of having a good yeah. support yeah, system. Yeah, I was listening to that. And it, it is very important to have, like, a very good support system. People, Someone who believes in your dream. It doesn't have to be 10 or 15 people. You just want that one or two persons that really really believe in your dream believing in what you're doing you know what i mean more than enough yeah and that is more than enough enough. right they say it's a three people group chat that'd be the best right Uh, (laughs) (laughs) so so yeah that's what i do like you find people who believe in your stuff and they're the ones that are going to motivate you when you want to procrastinate or want to want to want to give up you know what i mean that's one of the things you could do having a support system like you can hand things off to them and say hey i'm stuck right here I think I have too much to deal with. They can say, hey, let me take this off your hands for a while and deal with this while you do that and you yeah. do that. 
You know what I mean? So having a good support system helps you, whether it be family, your brother, your sister, your aunt, your best friend, your cousin, your niece, whatever. Like, find a support system. Work, you, no man is an island. No man stands alone. Yeah. So find help and get it. And I think, I guess, my, the last point, or for me personally, one thing that really helps me, I think it also goes with just mental strength at the same time. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, it kind of goes with that discipline, but it kind of goes with, like, um, it goes with accountability and it goes with mental strength, right? So you have to be accountable of your own responsibilities. Yeah, yes. We get it that you might have a lot of things on your plate, but at the same time, like, if you know you have all these classes, school, right? For me personally, let me speak from my experience. When I was president of NABA, um, National Association of Black Accountants, yeah. yeah, join that club, right? So if, if you if you know you're, you're in e-board position, right, and you have all these classes, you have things at home, it comes with that mental strength, that responsibility, accountability, where it's like, I have all these responsibilities. Yes, it may be a lot. Yes, it may be stressful. But at the end of the day, I have to get them done. Gotcha. Right? That's so, so for true. me, I know since I'm a procrastinator, for me, I know that if I have all these things, I know I'm not going to plan to do all these away in advance. Right? Mm -hmm. That's just me. Right? It's one of my vices. But at the same time, I know I'm going to get all of these done. Regardless of what it takes, I know I'm going to get them done. That's so Whether true. it's going to be in steps and the steps are last minute or maybe I'm just going to ground them all out at once, but it's last minute. I know that regardless of what anything happens, they, these need to be completed. And I have too much pride and I have a lot of work ethic that I'm not going to let it be completed and it's going to be trash. It's going to get done and it's going to be done well. You know what I mean? It may be last minute. But it's still going to be done well. That is true. You know what I mean? So one thing that kind of has been inspiring me, my freshman year, um, one of my bros, he used to really, one thing he used to really love to say is just execute, right? If you have a responsibility, execute, right? So you have class to study for, you have a test, you have to study and execute, right? If you have a business, right? You have a business plan, you have a motto, you have clothes, all this you have to do, you have all these responsibilities, all right, it may be due tomorrow and you're up late doing it. Guess what? Execute. Just do it. You know what I mean? So like you have all those steps before, but at the end of the day, I think the last thing that it comes down to is just like, hey, these are your responsibilities. You have to get it get done. It, get them done. Get it done. You That's know? so true. So uh, Honestly, I think um, the way you started that reminded me of two quotes. Uh, one of them is a lyric from J. Cole's Headbusser how you balance being Batman, Bruce Wayne. And that to me correlates with the whole mental strength thing. You know, Batman as a superhero has amazing mental strength. And, you know, not only does he balance being Batman and I and everything, he has to balance being Bruce Wayne, keeping up both double identities. And it all just that's comes like, to mental That's strength. like every single rapper. Like they have a personal life. Yeah. You know what I mean? That they have to balance as well. Like, they have bills to pay. Yeah. You know what I mean? They have things to do outside of rapping or being in the studio. You know what I mean? And then there's a side of rapping being a celebrity or whatever that they have to balance. So, it anywhere you go, you have to understand that balance. And as Bensky said, I think it all boils down to some of that mental, mental strength mm -hmm. that you need. Mm -hmm. So. And then another thing I tell myself. Like, I, I didn't mention this before, but a quote I always tell myself, I'm corny. It's from a video game, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Goku goes, if I don't, who will? So, if you're not doing it, no one else is going to do it for you. Think about you know, it. That is gonna pick facts. It up. That's so that true. Is I facts. <laughs> going to take it up for you. He's going to do it. No one. All you. That is no true. No one's going to graduate for you. No one's going to write that paper for you. No one's going to take that test for you. Unless you got it like that, but yeah, you definitely for don't. Most people, so, don't, it's not like that. No, and even these days, before you even go into the bar exam, I hear this, like, basically strip searching you before you even go to one of those bar exams or one of those accounting ACC exams. You really got to get searched so and show ID. So ain't nobody going to do those tests for you for real. No, nah, that's true. So that's what, that's my thoughts on it. Like, it's, it's, it's like, like Bensky said, execute. Do what you have to do and just get it done. All right. Any last thoughts? Um, nah, nah that's not for it. me. Yeah. <laughs> I paused there for a second. <laughs> All right. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Right. If you listen to this podcast, drop what you think. All right. In the comments below. How do you feel about procrastination? Are you a procrastinator? What helps you? Anything that can contribute to us to contribute for yourself and anybody else who's reading these comments. All right. So that's it from us. Who are you? Corey. All right. 
boy Bensky Belzer. We got Edom XP, right? Co host, he's on the computer. Hi, right. Here. All right, so it's been great talking to you guys. All right, so we'll see you guys next time. We'll have more topics for you guys. Peace.